say hello? Hola! Hello! Hello! Hola! My channel hope you have all been well so today's video is kind of just like a chit chat get ready with me I'm just doing my makeup and just wanted to say hi to you guys and let you know what's going on <laughs> so yeah I don't have Mariah crying the whole time don't worry she's just ready to eat and ready for nap time so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna stop rambling now and let's just get started Okay, so I've already moisturized my skin. Sorry if I'm like super zoomed up close, you guys. Like, I don't want you seeing like a lot of the hotel room because it's not exactly the cleanest because Mariah is like a little tornado. But um, we're just going to get started. So yeah, I've already moisturized. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Becca Ever Matte Primer. I've recently just started using this. It's only a sample. And you guys, this stuff is like super heavy duty. Almost to the point where it's like too much because you really have to take a lot of time blending it in. If you don't blend it in, it'll really mess up your foundation. So you actually have to take some time and press it into your pores and blend it out. This stuff gets super tacky and yeah, it kind of can be difficult to work with. But um, the actual results when it comes to mattifying is like incredible. And also if the lighting is really weird, I apologize too. I know there's like a shadow like right here, but I think my face is mostly in the shade and the sun is kind of down here. So yeah, we're just going to roll with it. This is going to be really casual. So L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love this stuff. I haven't been using anything else. It's just so every time I use something else, I'm just like, man, it's just not as good as Pro Glow. And I'm pretty sure I've said that a thousand times and so you guys are probably tired of hearing it. But this is my one and only right now. I'm sorry about it. So we've been here, what is today? Today is the beginning of May. That's how I classify days, just the beginning of the month. The middle of the month, the end of the month, because I honestly have no idea. But we put a down deposit on our house last week or the week before last. Anyways, how, we were house hunting for like two weeks, you guys. And I was so excited to house hunt. I was like, it's going to be so fun and we're gonna find the house of our dreams and I was actually looking at houses before we even got here but it turned out to be so stressful just because like the Air Force provides you with a cap and you have to stay within your cap and um, we wanted a four bedroom but it's like our cap was 1200 pounds and all the four bedrooms were like 1375 or higher like you could not touch a four bedroom within 1200 pounds and I was like okay you know we're not gonna pay over our budget like something will happen something will come up that we'll absolutely love and so we saw this house it was a four bedroom for 1180 so I was like you know what it has a conservatory it looks nice enough let's give it a try and so we went and saw it and that was the first house we ever saw I'll just refer to it as the Ely house it was the first house we ever saw and it was really big it was really spacious but it has like no closets and I thought the rooms were just like of average size and then that woman who lives in there she was actually in the house while we were walking through and she was like yeah you won't find closets this is like the biggest house I could find within the cap and the four bedrooms these there's a <laughs> she was like these are super spacious for England standards and she was like you guys will see, you guys will see, and I was like, okay, it's just like another house to me, you know, because we're used to, like, American, and then our places in Japan were, like, dumb spacious, and I never realized how, like, rare they were, I guess, compared to England, and so every single house we looked at since that place, like, England doesn't believe in closets, like, their wardrobes here, like, are, you have to buy additionally, and I never realized that because when we're looking, we're going through the house and I'm like, where's like the pantry? Where's like the storage closet? Where's like the linen closet? Where do you put all your clothes? Where do you put your shoes? Because they don't have stuff like that here. Sorry, I'm just getting around like the corners of my nose. And yeah, they just didn't have it. Anyway, so we went to all these other houses and I was like, man, the first house is still the best. The first house is still the best. And like we were even checking out houses like as soon as they got on the website I would call and be like okay I, we can see it as soon as possible and they would give me a date like three days out and on that 
three day out when we're supposed to go see it, they would call me and they'd be like, someone actually already had a second viewing and decided to take it. And I just like, couldn't understand, like how could someone see a second viewing when I called like as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying? I called like an hour after it was put on the website and someone already snatched it. Like everything goes super fast here. So the whole house hunting process just became like super stressful and we decided to go for a second viewing on the house and luckily like no one else saw the Ely house and so as soon as we walked in after seeing all the other houses that this area had to offer we were like we will take it and honestly it's just it's super beautiful it's really spacious I'm gonna do an empty house tour and it has four bedrooms but it only has like one closet so I'm really gonna have to consolidate our wardrobe or we're gonna get stand-in wardrobes we're gonna go to Ikea I don't know but yeah so we have a house and then homeboy I'm gonna use my tart shape tape actually you guys I haven't been loving this it's just too drying it hangs onto my texture I don't really care for it anymore it's just too much so we've been living off base so never on a base always off base since we first came in the military and like military doesn't usually have to go through like the normal renting process as everyone else like they don't call your past like rentals they don't see like I don't know I just feel like we don't have to provide like the history that other renters do like it's usually like a quick and easy thing but here when I gave them the deposit for the Ely house they asked us to fill up an application with like our past residents so all these places in Japan and we were like okay but I didn't even tell you guys I told my friends but we had like a really bad experience when we left Okinawa like final outing of our house like we went to final out of our house and we had like a bubble light in my makeup room that the light went out so we took off the bubble and replaced the lights ourselves and then Mariah was crawling down on the floor one day and I hadn't put the bubble back up on the light and she crawled in the bubble and the bubble cracked. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna, you know, it'll come out of our security deposit when we final out of this house. And then the cats clawed up the screen doors by like climbing on them. And we were like, okay, it's like 30 bucks a screen, whatever. It happens, it'll come out of our security deposit. And they did us so dirty when we checked out of that house. Like, they made it seem like we left it in absolute wreck, which we didn't at all. And so I wrote them a really nasty review on their Facebook page and Google and stuff. And when we left, so we, we had been living in the house for a year. We paid all the money. We were both active duty when we got the apartment. So we just like, okay, here's all the fees. We're gonna pay it all, you know, it was like a rough couple of months until we like actually settled in with all their fees and whatnot. And then, when we left the house, they were like, oh, you never paid a pet fee. And you had two cats in there. And I was like, so why were we living there when all of our fees weren't paid? And she was like, you tell me, why did you have two pets? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> So you've been telling me we've been living in this house and we weren't even completely paid for and she was like the pet fee was never paid you can see the copy of the lease but she had like such an attitude and I was like so this is only coming up now in our final outing and she was like well it's on it's not on the paperwork and I was like okay okay and so anyways I left him like a nasty review because I was like why would they let us live there for a year when our stuff wasn't even paid for correctly. And it would be different if she was like, yeah, sorry, it was overlooked. It looks like, I don't know, I'm sorry. But she didn't say that. When I was like, what pet fee? And she was like, well, you had two pets and it's right there. It's just the, the way she said it, <laughs> like she came for me. And I was not gonna take that, because it's bogus. Why would they let us live there for a year when we weren't even paid correctly? Anyways, I felt it was like really like shady. I don't know. I didn't like how they handled it at all. So I wrote them a bad review. I don't care. They made it seem like 
we should have got back like three thousand dollars from like the first month rent and the security back or whatever we got back around a thousand and I have no idea what they took the rest of the money for CJ was like so fed up he was just like whatever whatever and then I was in the hotel with Mariah because you know he was the only one out processing and when he came back and told me the amount we got back whoo just because like we don't treat like these houses badly at all like you can well I don't know if you've seen the house on vlogs like it was a beautiful spacious house nothing was wrong with it and yet we still got like scammed like that so I wrote them a bad review because you know I just felt like they handled it sorry I'm reaching for my pencil they handled it really nasty and I just felt like it was shady I didn't like the way it was handled and so now I've got a phone call sorry you guys I'm just rambling I got a phone call yesterday from the housing agency I don't know why they called me I'm just a dependent like I shouldn't be handling anything like that's CJ's but um they called me and I guess they would it was this guy who was hired by the place that we're trying to get and I guess he's supposed to check like references and he was like yeah do you have the email address for your housing company in Japan and I was like, no, they don't speak English there, so they don't use email, which is completely accurate. Like, off these agencies, most of them don't even speak English, so email doesn't really exist to them. They do all their talking over the phone. And then Homeboy was like, well, how do you expect me to get in contact with them? And I was like, not my problem. <laughs> I didn't say that, but that is totally how I felt, like we gave you all their information and usually I guess I'm just like spoiled because usually like military like they kind of take care of it all for you because they know they're not going to get screwed out of money like we are forced to pay for absolutely anything because of like they know the commander they're always going to get their money like people who rent to military will always always wind up on top because the military can't leave without like the housing's blessing it's not like we can just like pick up and leave because they will have people searching for cj so like rental agencies housing agencies are always going to get their money from the military and he was like how am i going to contact them and i was like i don't know bro i was like we looked up everything that we could find on the housing agency like you can go to their facebook page that's how you contact them i don't know what to tell you and like he got salty with me too it's like i don't know but now since I made such like a bad review on our um on our last place I'm hoping they don't do us dirty with this new house because I'm actually quite scared I mean we paid for everything trust <laughs> we paid for everything it was just I just left them a bad review so I hope they don't like leave me a bad review when they talk to the people here like <gasps> -nin -nin -nin. I don't know I don't know, I'm just kind of worried about it. I probably shouldn't be, but I'm just worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Brow Precise. I'm gonna try and make them thinner because I feel like I've had like super thick eyebrows lately. So I'm gonna try and thin these babies out and I will see you in a second. Okay, so there's my eyebrows. A little bit thinner and lighter than I usually do. Cause I was reviewing like some of my videos and I was just like, holy camoly like not cute with how thick and like dark they were probably not exactly even but a lot better than they used to be I'm gonna try out this red hot times nine palette from Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and first take this light brown shade I'm actually gonna set the whole area with the white and then I'm gonna go in with the tan yeah so we put a down deposit on that house I feel like I'm just like resuming where it was but um he called yesterday for a reference you heard how that went so we'll see what happens the shade has a little bit of sparkle in it but it's primarily like a white bone color i'm gonna take that all the way up to the brow and you guys i've actually never owned a mac eyeshadow palette before i actually don't even own that many of their eyeshadows to be honest so I also wanted to tell you guys that um, I applied for school, so I'm probably going to be a full-time student starting this summer. 
so I applied for school through the VA because they have to send you like an eligibility letter using like my benefits that I have from active duty and then yeah I'm gonna be going to school full-time out here so I'll be attending a couple classes like on base and then um, online so it'll be like four to five classes that I'll be doing which is gonna be an absolute handful with Mariah so we might um, put her in like a daycare or look around for daycares too so I can have a couple of days a week to just like focus on school I don't want to say I'm excited about it just because I know <laughs> it's gonna be a handful because she's already a handful just like me sitting down trying to film like the whole area is baby proofed I just thought I would let you guys know I'm gonna go in with that brown shade now I'm not gonna really do anything particular with this besides like add dimension because I think I'm gonna go in with like a Stilla shadow on the lid just light and soft today I actually really like this tan shade it has like a kind of like mauve pink undertone and it almost like mimic mimics a shadow at the same time it's beautiful now I'm just gonna stay here and blend a little bit longer because I've noticed that like I think it's because I stopped doing makeup for so long that like my blending skills aren't where they used to be so I'm just gonna take some extra time here to compensate while I get back into the groove of things yeah, I feel like it's looking a little bare I'm gonna try and not go over the top because I always tend to go over the top not today Taylor not today I'm gonna go in with Stilla diamond dust um I feel like I might need something I'm trying not to add anything just blend this is really difficult okay so still a diamond dust I'm gonna keep my lid like primarily down while that's getting its life together I'm gonna take a little like pencil brush and kind of like go around the edges just to make sure there's not like a cut crease action going on. Okay, so that's what I have going on right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner and brow bone with MAC Nylon. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mess. I feel like this tutorial isn't being that complicated, which I super enjoy. I feel like yesterday I just went over the top so much. I'll insert a picture of what I did yesterday. And I don't know if you guys are ever going to see that footage, but it was just like too much. Like I was having extreme difficulties and that's when I noticed that like my blending game like was not up to par. I was like, dang. But in my defense, I was using a Morphe 35B palette and that was just like a really colorful palette so I should have known to take a long extra duper super time not really liking how the edges of that glitter and my crease is looking so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my crease color on a pencil brush and just kind of redefine Okay, so I'm going to brush away all that loose powder using this brush from Do You Care. They are a Chinese company that actually sent me some brushes. And the shape of them are amazing. And the quality is amazing. I will leave a link down below. But you guys, like this is the brush I used to do my cheeks yesterday. And it's just like all these brushes that are like really tapered have so many uses. Like it came with a big set and they're like $15 and I'm super impressed with the quality so I'll leave that down below if you guys are interested so far <laughs> so good I'm just gonna dust this away for my lower lash line I'm gonna oh, I was holding a blush for my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with this orangish shade I might mix a little bit of the tan but I'm mostly gonna stick to the orange and just kind of subtle Taylor subtle subtle today settle today is the key this is a lot more orange than I thought it was gonna be
Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the tan. Okay, you guys, so I put on these super bold lashes. They're from Top Secret, it's a Japanese company, and I'm like, obsessed. But um, I feel like my lower lash line just needs a little something, so I'm gonna go in with MAC Swiss Chocolate. It's a cool toned brown. I'm gonna put this as close to my lower lashes as possible. Like, you can already see all the fallout from that glitter all over my face. It's like, unless you pop on false lashes, like right away, it's on your base. Like false lashes kind of like catch it all, but you just have to dissect your lashes afterwards <laughs> to get all the glitter out. And now I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. So far this mascara is like my new favorite. It's L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. I think it's like a UK mascara. I don't know, maybe this is new in the States too. But I'm just going to do my lower lashes. Okay, so I've been contouring my nose lately, so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Blush and Taupe. I feel like I'm like completely wiped out. Am I wiped out right now? Like, wiped it out. And a little pencil brush. I'm not an expert at this yet because, like I said, like I just started, but I'm gonna try it out. And then I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild pressed powder and kind of just like define it on the sides. Clean it up just a little bit. So now to define my face, I'm gonna go in with one of those others Do You Care brushes. It's called D-U Care, but I keep saying Do You Care. Take NYX Blush and Taupe again and this perfect angled one. I'm also going to take that around my hairline. For bronzer, I'm going to be using this new one from MAC. This is MAC Dark Golden. And I really like it because it's kind of like a... It's a little orange, but I kind of like the shade of orange it is. Okay, you guys, so Mariah was starting to cry, so now she's up here chilling like a villain. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I'm gonna mix Forever Young and Glow Getter. That above my forehead. Okay, if you're gonna be up, do you have enough stuff on the ground that you can go be on your own now? Go ahead, girl. Okay, you guys, for highlight today, I'm going to use MAC Cantaloupe. Sorry, I'm doing everything one-handed now. And I'm going to use the viewfinder, so I'm just going to put it right here. I feel like I talked for, like, the first, like, ten minutes of this video, and now I'm just, like, quiet trying to get things done. I'm going to go ahead and take a brush with a little bit of powder. And clean up right below. And then I actually think I'm going to go in with a little bit of NYX in taupe again. And kind of just like re-sculpt re just a little bit. This brush is like amazing. Okay, you guys, to finish off this look, I'm going to go in with Dose of Colors Cork. I've been reaching, it for, reaching for it a ton lately. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of Fix Plus. What I usually do is I just take like whatever is left on my brush and kinda just go for it a little bit. 
Okay, you guys, so this completes this look. It's very just like wearable, I feel. It's like dramatic, but wearable. And isn't that what we were kind of going for? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. We just wanted to come and explore the area and